Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Robert Moraine, dancer, entertainer. Welcome to the Q&A. So a couple of weeks ago, I posted a video on Facebook, a live video, and asked you guys to uh, submit some questions to me so I could do this here Q&A. Out of all the questions that were submitted, I picked my favorite six. That being said, first question, Zach Enkin writes, what was your life like after the original audition on So You Think You Can Dance? Let's start with the Ellen DeGeneres show. They called me the night that the audition aired and asked me to go on to the show the next morning. And so they sent a limo over to my house. And since that morning, everything's completely changed for me. I, I got to do a bunch of different commercials. I've, I got to participate on uh, Superstars of Dance on NBC. And then I started touring um, with circuses and live shows. And yeah, things just kept going after So You Think You Can Dance. I was already kind of on my journey, but that really uh, catapulted me into the professional world. So yeah, life changed. <laughs> Next question. Rodrigo George Carrillo writes, absolutely love your show at Crazy Horse. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm so happy when people say that they love my live show. It's awesome. Um, thanks. Whatever happened to my Milk Project? The Milk Project is still going on. It's morphed into a entertainment company because I decided that I'm going to start filming myself and talking to you all. So, um, yeah, it's still going strong. Um, thanks for asking. Next question. Uh, this is for, coming from David Burlett. And his question is, um, from what can come your stress in perform? If yes, uh, this kind of stresses me out a little bit at the moment. But as, as far as dancing and my doing my numbers and stuff on stage, it doesn't really stress me out anymore. I got over that when I was really young. Uh, street performing helped a lot. But uh, this vlog is kind of stressing me out at the moment. <laughs> Next question is coming from Scott Jones. In Hawaii, you did a lot of crowd participation. Does your current act bring in participants from the audience too? Yes, I, I do bring someone from the audience. And how do I pick a good volunteer, he asks. Um, that's a great question. The criteria needs to be male. He needs to be middle-aged. He needs to look like he enjoys dancing and he's enjoying the show and having a good time. He needs to be fun. And it's a plus if he's on a date. Those are the criteria. Um, next question comes from Azad Rahman. Do you have any plans on participating in World of Dance? I know it's a silly question, but still. Uh, it's not a silly question. Uh, it makes total sense. I participated on a bunch of different um, reality TV shows, and so why not this one? Uh, I don't have any current plans of going on that show. I, I've, I've, I've never even seen it, to be honest, because I live out here um, at the moment. And since the show came on, I haven't been back to watch it. This question is by Dario Romero. You still can put the leg behind the head anytime you want. Yes, I can. I can still put my leg behind. Actually, let me... Let me do that right now. Not hit the microphone. Voila. So uh, yeah, I could put my leg behind my head anytime I want. I can kick it back. Um, at, there was a moment where the leg behind the head was getting really difficult and it was starting to hurt my back. And it was because I was continuously putting the right leg behind my head only. And I kind of neglected my left leg. And over the years, it caused the stress on my lower back. And my girlfriend recommended that I start doing the left leg as well, and once I got it as flexible as the right, the pain started to go away, and I uh, got my leg behind the head back just as good as it was uh, 10 years ago. So yes, I could still do it. The other part of your question was, and do you can do another variation of that skill. Uh, can I do another variation of that skill? Yeah, I can do plenty of variations of that skill. There's a lot of different threads that I do with it, like kind of old school, flexible, circus style b-boy threads, things of that nature, but I haven't really gotten flexible enough to do all the leg breaking and stuff. Those guys are insane. Big up all those dudes. What you got, you guys are taking it to the next level. So big up the bone breakers and leg breakers. And uh, that was the last question. So that brings this video to an end. Uh, I appreciate you guys all submitting your questions. 
And for those of you I didn't answer, um, maybe I will answer a few of them in the future. I just had to keep it short. So there will definitely be more Q&As just like this. Subscribe if you liked what you saw. Leave comments, leave feedback. I'm open for um, suggestions and ideas. I'm really uh, new at this. So anything that may be bothering you or bugging you, uh, just let me know and I'll try and iron out the details. Uh, until next time, uh, thanks again. Peace out. <laughs>